I am going to put Crucial Memory into my iMac 27 inch. I got it installed with 8 gigabytes of memory and I wanted to up it to 16 and I got this memory kit from Crucial, two 4 gigabyte uh, pieces of memory. Uh, went to crucial.com and had them do a system scan and it told me this is what I needed. So that's all you have to do is go to crucial.com, download the software scanner and then it will tell you uh, if you have any additional memory slots available and how max you can go. Uh, I bought this for 60 bucks so memory is fairly cheap actually when you buy it um, online and especially through Crucial. It's very good memory. Okay so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to boot my iMac down and then I'm going to lay it on its side and then we'll uh, start installing the memory. Okay, so I put my Mac on its face on top of a blanket so it would uh, be safe and not get crushed and I'm just going to kind of zero in on the memory slot down below. I've already kind of loosened the screws a little bit just to make it easier to see what's going on here. Um, I did uh, <laughs> Use this little mechanical screw set and it didn't work out so well so I got out my trusty leather man and I'm just going to turn each one of these guys and you don't have to do too much of a turn on them actually just a, a you know few turns in this thing basically there's three screws right here and once you do it should just pop this little memory slot right out just be careful not to strip the screws which I almost did with this bad Phillips head that I had uh, and then it just pops right off pretty easy, but you want to make sure you get a good strong solid um, And you'll notice that these things have little um, Protectors on them so you won't lose the screws when, when you take the uh, casing off Okay, so I have my memory card right here, and I have my Memory slots open and you'll notice that um, there there's a little uh, plastic strip here that you just kind of pull out and it reveals um, the pre-existing memory that's already in there in the empty slot I went ahead and already um, put in my um, one of my four gig pieces just so I could test it before actually shooting the video. So you'll notice at the top was my pre-existing uh, four gig and my pre-existing four gig on the right, and I had two empty slots on both bottom left and bottom right. I went ahead and I put the bottom left in already just to practice. And what I basically did is I shined a flashlight in there to find out which. Um, side of the memory you put in one side shorter one side longer so with the monitor turned down the shorter side has to be on the right um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in here and I was a little nervous at first when I was putting it in because it, it doesn't you know when you press it just like lightly it doesn't go in you gotta kind of give it a bit of a firm press like so it actually goes into the slot so don't be afraid to to give it a little bit of a press so it gets in there um, so that's it pretty much um, for putting in the memory. It's in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these little plastic strips back up there. So it's covering the two memory cards. And again on the left, put that in. So everything's good to go there. And then all I have to do is go ahead and take the um, little cover right here, pop that back on again and away we go. In a minute I'll just boot it back up and I should now be showing, instead of 8 gigabytes of memory, I should be showing 16. Okay, so we have the iMac back up and we have it plugged in. Let's cross our fingers here uh, and hope I didn't leave a bolt <laughs> out on the table. Here we go. Should boot up. I also have a solid state drive um, which I've been wanting for quite some time and uh, it boots up pretty quick. You should. This is Lion, and this is what it looks like to boot up with a solid state drive. There you are. It just pops open, and all your programs open. It's fairly quick. Uh, okay, so this isn't a solid state infomercial, so let's go ahead and go to. Excuse me, over here, and we're going to go to about this Mac under the Apple menu, and there it is, 16 gigabytes of memory. And that's what you really want to check for right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to zoom in on that for you so you can see the kind of before and after. There it is, 16 gigabytes of memory. So we accomplished our objective. Looks good. It actually even booted up a little bit faster, which is fairly cool. Okay?
There it is.